What's up guys, this is Mike here from Ecom Knives and today I wanted to show you a couple of prototype friction folders. So I've been prototyping a lot since I'm waiting on that batch to come back from heat treat. So I'm just doing kind of busy work, design work and uh, hopefully once that batch gets back I could bang them out and actually have some knives for sale. That'd be nice, right? So I taught myself draft site like you saw from the previous video and this was the result of draft site for me. Uh, what I was able to accomplish from that. So like I said I got two prototype friction folders here. They're not finished. They are uh, in the rough stages. They still have to go out to heat treat and I, a lot a lot of work to do but they're starting to look like a knife and starting to get excited especially about one in particular. Also today I have a cool new tool uh, that I had to sell my beloved motorcycle for but you have to do what you have to do if this really means something to you. If you really want to do it, you do what you got to do. But alright, enough yakking. So here's the first one. And this one was modeled after the fixed blades. The going back to the roots fixed blade, which I still haven't named. I'm, I'll get to it. But this is F50 carbon fiber. It still needs to be contoured. This one's going to have backspacers. Um, backspacers? Standoffs. That's right. Standoffs. Uh, like I said, a lot of work. I still have to recess all the holes for the screws and the blade needs to be finished, but there's the blade. Like I said, it's rough ground now. It'll come back nice and shiny and clean once I'm done with it after the heat treat. Nice big blade. You can see. And your thumb kind of locks the blade in place because it's a friction folder, so your thumb is what keeps it from closing on you on the tang. So you got the fit. It is getting there. Like I said, still needs some work, some some loving, but it's starting to look like a knife. See, this one's pre-ground. The next one, which is prototype number two, I kind of took some of the ideas from this one and refined them and kind of added my own little touch to it. So, we have this one and one of my first yeah that's a that's a fuller right there now this blade has not been ground yet as you can see I fattened up the tang a little bit so it doesn't poke you while it's in your pocket another big boy this is a, this is a big knife uh, probably three and three quarter inch blade or so again this one this is black G10 and the backspacer on this one is that'll show up lightning strike carbon fiber so it'll look nice when it's done I promise <laughs> but this is going to be the blade shape of it and I hope to bring the grind right underneath that fuller to kind of give it an even spacing between the spine and the grind at least according to my uh, my math that's where it should end up with a 12 inch wheel but we'll see you know how that goes now some of you might be thinking, how'd you do that? How'd you do that fuller? I thought you needed a mill for that. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because I'm going to pick you up and I'm going to show you my cool new tool. Alright, let me flip you around. Alright guys, this is my new mill. The end game in my knife making, for me anyway, was to make locking folders and it's really difficult to do it without a mill. This is the Grizzly 0704, uh, very popular for knife making. I was torn between this and the 0758 which is its little brother but this thing has a very very loyal following, huge support. It's kind of the AK-47 of mills if you will. Um, I have to say the machine itself it doesn't look very heavy but this thing's got to be 300 pounds it took two people <laughs> and uh, some screaming backs to get this thing up here and it shipped on a tractor trailer and in a on a pallet in a crate so you're not lifting this thing up by yourself uh, but from what I understand the heavier the better because it makes it more rigid because they tend to vibrate um, depending on what you're cutting and what you're doing and everything uh, I am no machinist by any stretch I don't have any machining experience so 
I am taking the crash course, watching as many YouTube videos on machining as I can, uh, reading some books and some tutorials online, and I'm trying to get the hang of it. But uh, little by little, I'm getting there. All I've accomplished so far is, you know, very basic features. And this is how I had it set up to do that fuller, that one eighth end mill in there. So I'm definitely very excited to see. And maybe this can help me out with uh, making some folders. Um, but I've been delayed, even though I have the machine now. I had enough money from the motorcycle sale for the machine. Uh, but I didn't take into account tooling. And if you talk to any machinist, the tooling, meaning the vise and the rotary table and all this stuff that you need. I got the dial indicator, uh, the clamp set, a saw arbor. A, more clamps by the time you're done with the essentials uh, you have easily spent more than the machine itself it's crazy uh, the, the collet set I got uh, these are the parallels and an optical center punch with this this thing is awesome I might do a separate video just on that uh, calipers are a must and then the end mills themselves that, that little 1 8 end mill it just looks like a fancy drill bit I think it was like 10 bucks or 12 bucks for uh, whatever it was. It was expensive. And they snap like twigs when you don't know what to, <laughs> what you're doing. And trust me, uh, trust me, I know. But yeah, that, that's uh that's the update for today, guys. Hopefully uh you'll see some cool stuff coming out of this itty bitty shop. As you can see, I had to move a bunch of stuff around because this thing takes up a ton of room and weighs a ton. I had to put a brace uh, on the bench. It comes with a stand if you guys got the room for it, but I didn't, so yeah, it's, it's sitting on my bench. But that's it, fellas. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll catch you on the next video. <laughs> Finally got some sunshine out here. Check it out. Alright, I'll catch you guys later.